Yes, I'm still alive. No, I'm not some zombie trying to eat your brain because let's be honest, there wouldn't be much to eat there. Now would there? But anyways, today I'm going to be building a very fancy modern information desk. And then I'm also going to be building a very fancy African penguin app desk with a waterfall because everything is fancier with a waterfall. But anyways, let's get started. So it has been a whole month since I last uploaded the video and I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I don't feel bad about leaving you guys for a whole month. Not saying that I didn't miss making videos, but I mean real life takes priority, I had an internship and studies to focus on, so I don't feel bad for leaving you guys for that long, but I did kind of miss you guys. Or at least I missed making videos. And so when I finally got like time to build, which is not as long of a time as I would like, it's like it's the odd hour here and there or not even an hour sometimes. Sometimes I have like 30 minutes to play Planet Zoo, maybe. Sometimes I have no time at all. So yeah, when it came to actually building something, I immediately was like, yes. I want to actually do something with like the amount of time that I'm giving myself and just make something huge. Which means that, yes, I went kind of overboard with the information center or information desk because this could have been a much smaller building. And then I also decided, yeah, let's torture myself more and also add a penguin habitat because that's not going to be painful mentally at any point. But yeah, then also like the parting inside the information center. Because I finally like really figured out how to work with the... What are the parts called? Like the Q parts, because those can be made smaller than 4 meters. I actually start to really like making these interiors because I can actually figure out how to do the parting for them. Although it's... Like, it's fun to build, but when you're actually laying down the path, it's just complete horror. Like, there's so much time that's just like, all right, this works, this doesn't. This works, this doesn't. This works, this doesn't. So there's a lot of time that I just cut out just because it was just like placing a path, re removing it, placing it, removing it, placing it, removing it. Anyways, when it comes to the actual information center building, yeah, it's a bit of just like everything thrown together. I think there's like four images or five where I was like, I like that feature, I like that feature, I like that feature. Let's combine them and let's see what crazy shit happens. So like the wooden box that I built as the viewing area or the underwater viewing area for the African penguins was one image or like was one feature of a building. Then the glass facade of the actual information center was another building. And then the angled wall, I would say, was another feature from another Pinterest image. And yes, there's just... This is one of those bu buildings where it didn't look good until like the very end. And so it was a great strain on me of like, this doesn't look good, but let's just stick it out and let's see how it looks at the end of it. And then like, I constantly was just like, all right, I could do this, but I could also make it more extra and make that the like second story or at least the second row of windows in the facade actually jumps forward a bit just to make that facade a little bit more interesting because of course you have the like wooden box kind of built next to it which of course is already kind of interesting in shape by itself but then if you have just a straight glass facade it would just be kind of meh because it would just be completely overshadowed by the wooden box and yes i'm just going to call that viewing area for the africa penguins a box because it's the best way to describe it it's just a box and then i thought let's add another box because you know company is always great when it comes to wooden boxes and now for some reason i'm reminded of the videos that maybe all of you guys have seen if you haven't you watch them of like the big cats given or where basically zookeepers or just like keepers or i don't know people give like big cats 
cardboard boxes and then you realize yeah every cat no matter the size likes cardboard boxes either to destroy them or sit in them it's like one of the two like they don't ignore them it seems and it's just really funny and also really adorable to see just like this gigantic cat sit in a box and then i look at my own cat and i'm thinking well actually i'm usually thinking oh you're adorable and you also don't have two brain cells to rub together do you yeah my cat is a little bit uh well she's adorable but sometimes you're just like mm, you know um, what is the instrument called that they use for like music to like set the pace? It's like the ding 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 ding. That's a very good explanation of that instrument. But like I just imagine that in her brain or in her head. Like there's no brain, it's just like that. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> Somebody in the comments is going to tell me like, oh yeah, that instrument is called that. And also tell me if you have a cat or a dog because sometimes dogs have this as well if you just look at them can you also just imagine that in their brain like not an actual brain or basically in their head where it's just like yeah you are adorable you are lovely and i will not give you up for any gold but you don't really have the brain cells like you're not really gifted in that part but you're adorable I mean, that's the reason why I really love cats. They are so, like, arrogant. But they do the dumbest shit. And then it's just like, oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> A lovable prick. That's cats. Dogs are just like, I mean, they're lovable and everything. But cats just have that sense of arrogance. And then you see them run straight into a wall and act as if they meant to do that all right we're talking about or we're building an habitat for penguins we're building an information center why did i just spend like a two minutes talking about how dumb cats are i miss making videos because all of these dumb thoughts just come out but anyways back to the actual build because i got bored of the information center and i started building the habitat this is also the place where i knew that i fucked up because the information center could have been a video in its own the habitat could have been a video on its own but poison was just there like nope we're going to torture ourselves and make it one video i don't know why i said ourselves as if i have multiple personalities which is not the case because i can barely handle one Anyways, let's move on to the actual habitat and actually start talking about it. So I did have a different idea in the beginning for the penguin habitat. I wanted it to have sort of an indoor section as well. But then I realized, oh yeah, the like information center is already huge. If I wanted to make that indoor section, it would have just been a ginormous building. So I am kind of just like keeping that idea for another animal and then we are getting a well i don't want to say that this is a simple habitat but i'm just like taking that feature out and replacing it with a rounded sleeping area like i didn't think that i would want to make the sleeping area for the penguins fancy <laughs> But then I was just like, yeah, it's, uh, well, actually, I can't say it's 3 a.m. anymore. Like, I have stopped building at 3 a.m. because I'm just that tired from the internship that I just pass out, like, completely. Is this what adults or being an adult is like? That just at the end of the day, you're just so tired that you just pass out and you just sleep the full night? I am scared. <laughs> of being an adult like it's always funny that, of like as a kid you want to be an adult because you're like yeah i want to set my own rules i want to do the things that i want to do and all of that and then you become an adult and you're just like i uh, have too many responsibilities can i be a kid again like there's just too many responsibilities if you don't live up to the responsibilities you either get fired or you shit just happens like if you don't do your responsibilities as a kid it's like yeah you might get grounded you might get bad grades you don't lose your livelihood 
if anyone was still studying and like it doesn't have any responsibilities yet because they are a kid or like a teenager or such cherish those times because fuck me <laughs> well not fuck me but it's just like being an adult is overrated let's just put it like that anyways let's start talking about the actual build again because damn i actually missed going off on tangents i don't know like it's a weird feeling to make a video again to like ramble on again and then also just like i mean the twilight pack is coming out so i'm also tr wanting to do something with that so next week is just going to be a nightmare but i mean we will see what happens i mean i really like raccoons i mean in my mind leaf is just a raccoon well he's a flamingo wait now i just have the mental image of leaf and just just to put it out there i have no idea what leaf actually looks like in real life but now i'm just imagining a flamingo being ridden by a raccoon just like a raccoon riding a flamingo into battle uh, i've spent way too much time away from making videos and such because all of these thoughts are now coming out and it's just like bleh. i could just word vomit at this point but yeah again back trying to get back onto the actual build so yes this africa penguin habitat is kind of well it's fancy because it's round it's like there's angles to them because everything is fancier if you put it at a weird angle don't believe me look at architecture everything that's kind of fancy or is well is kind of classified as fancy usually has like weird angles and such or like windows in weird places you might think like oh they held the like architectural drawing for the building or whatever sideways or something but it's fancy so yeah when it came to the actual penguin habitat for some reason it was just like ah oh, yeah let's make the sleeping area round because that's not going to be a headache and then i realized all right how am i going to do the entrance for the keepers to this habitat and then i found another picture that was just like yes this doesn't work at all with the original idea but i want it so i'm adding it although i'm not adding it to the video because then the video would be 30 minutes long and i don't want to do that also i think that tongue or like mouth clacking or whatever sound is probably going to be audible i i don't know <laughs> this whole video is just chaos and i missed it and I'm pretty sure that my like mouth smacking is very audible. I apologize for that. But anyways, uh, and then I decided to also just do something like interesting with the actual waterfront for the penguins. And I decided because I saw pictures of these African penguins on like kind of rocky beaches. I was just like, yes, let's make this like sort of wooden area well plaster but then on top wooden and then fill up the like empty space with tiny rocks i think it has been disproven that like the piece count adds to like black or to the game running slower but then there's a lot of rocks in this build because i also made sure that like the barrier from the habitat to the pot, like the outside pot, because it's actually also a walkthrough habitat. Because who doesn't want to get bitten by a penguin? I've not had that happen to me. I've only been slapped in the eye by a monkey once. Slapped in the eye by my... Well, not the cat that I have now, but an older cat that has since passed away. Also slapped me in the eye. I, I've come to realize it has happened twice, which is weird like it's weird that it ha has happened once and it is even weirder that it ha has happened twice i guess animals just have something against my eyes but then i also had to duck once because a i think in english it's a falcon but basically just like a bird of prey in the morning when i was still delivering newspapers because of course with the internship i've stopped delivering newspapers because eh, hell no that i'm going to wake up that early and then also 
work the entire day afterward? Nope, not for that amount of money. But anyways, I once had to duck <laughs> because a falcon tried to... I think like he saw like I had a gray beanie on and I think he thought that was a mouse or something and so he thought "Ooh, dinner yeah that was actually just me riding on my bike going to collect the newspapers with a gray beanie and those birds are very pretty until you see those claws 10 centimeters from your face then they're not pretty anymore I think I've already told this story once or multiple times on stream. I'm probably like retelling stories quite often, but it's just like my brain just lays the connection of like, yeah, these animals slapped me in the face or in the eye. Also, this falcon tried to kill me. Animals, uh, they either love me or they really hate me, I guess. Although I've never, well, I've been pooped on once by a bird. And I didn't notice it for the entire day. There was just bird poop on my jacket for the entire day. <sighs> but it's the only time that I've been pooped on. And this is a weird video. We went from talking about my cat and just cats in general and cats in cardboard boxes to talking about animals that hit me in the eye and how a bird pooped on me and I didn't notice. I really missed making videos because this this stupid shit just comes out. Anyways, let's talk about the actual build again because I finally got interested in building the interior for the information center and for the viewing area. And I first made a different set of lights for the viewing area. And then I realized I can make this extra. So I removed those lights. Well, actually by this point they aren't removed yet, but they are going to be removed. But I removed the lights and then I added these planter light thingies that... I mean, they look really pretty and it really just gives the viewing area a very jungle vibe. Which, for the Africa Penguins, is probably not the really correct vibe. But I like it, so we're going to keep it. And also, yes, there's just a lot of things that I cut out of making this build. Just because... I mean, I spent a whole month on this, which is actually about the same amount of time that I spent on this as on any other habitat or any other build is just stretched out because again, with internship and such, you know, it just takes a lot of time because I have a lot less time to actually build. So yeah, it's going to be fun or going to be fun was was fun is the correct thing here but yeah when it comes to the actual interior of the build i forgot to record a lot of it like i made this entire desk like the actual information desk and i forgot to record it this is not something of like oh yeah i cut it out and now i'm going to use the excuse as like i forgot to record it no i actually i'm a dumbass i'm a certified dumbass and I forgot to record it, even though I'm very proud of the information desk. And then I just also forgot to record the actual lockers because I just wanted to have lockers at the information desk for like, if you, I don't know, like get souvenirs or anything that you care, don't want to carry with you, you can actually just put it here in a locker you will probably get like a key card or something so that you can open your locker because i just like key cards i like the boop like the beep when it's something opens like i have a well let's not go too far but i just like it when like the you have to like pay by car or with a pay well what like what's the correct word Basically, when you have to pay, you can just hold your card near the like machine to pay and it just beeps. I just like that beeping sound. It's weirdly calming to me. Also, doing the laundry is very calming to me. Like, I knew this for a long time. I can legit just sit in front of the washing machine, seeing like the clothes spin and everything. And to me, it's just very relaxing because it's just like it's a continuous motion like it's constantly the same it's just very relaxing to me the same actually goes weirdly for ironing just 
because of different reasons because it's like immediate results like you drag the iron over something and where there were first wrinkles and such it's now nice and smooth and flat i've only burnt my finger once because my dumb has tried to grab the iron by the ironing bit not by the actual handle but anyways we're back outside with the waterfall feature it's not an actual waterfall but i'm just going to call it the waterfall feature because it's fancy and it sounds even fancier if you call it a waterfall like i think i heard somewhere of like oh if you have a fountain it's fancy no fuck that if you have a waterfall that's fancy you know, you, you're basic bitches with your fountains go away give me a waterfall um should i you know say sorry for calling you a basic bitch if you're of a fountain no because you are a basic bitch at least if you're like how would you call it like bragging about having a fountain yeah you can brag if you have a waterfall like you're you are basically like you get a pass if you have a waterfall and you brag about it you are just completely allowed to brag about having a waterfall if you have a fountain and you're bragging about it go away get your starbucks coffee and your ugg boots and you're like i don't know what's that like basic coffee order it's something like pumpkin spice or something like get that shit and go but you can stay if you have a waterfall because that shit is just that's fancy anyways what was i actually talking about uh <laughs> so many things all at once and then nothing at all if you tried come or if you came to this video thinking like oh yeah we're going to learn something i mean you did you learned that you need to watch big cats playing or just interacting with cardboard boxes you now know that cats are arrogant dumbasses but we love them for it you now know that Animals like to punch me in the eye. <laughs> and falcon, like, don't wear a grey beanie when you when there's falcons or birds of prey around. Because they will think that it's a mouse that's on top of your head. Always check if a bird has pooped on you. And what's the other thing that we can learn from today's video? That poison blade is a dumbass, but that has been a, that's like a certified fact. It's not something new, but you know, it's good to be reminded of it. And also, um, penguins are kind of adorable, but they also look very high all the time. Or is that just me? Like, when I look at a penguin, I'm just like, you look kind of high. Like, you don't look dumb, but you look kind of like you're in another world. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you want some more. And now, let's see the end result.